just got three new cadavers, and no one else can make it in right now. I was hoping you could come in and take care of them. Hi guys, welcome back to another preview of adventure games I'm looking forward to that are hopefully coming out in August this year. I say hopefully because as you'll have seen by the previous video, some of them don't always stick to their dates, even a month before they're due out. But anyway... First up, we have this terrifying game, Mortuary Assistant, out 2nd of August. This has been around in a few demo forms already, but now it's out in a fully-fledged game. Having completed your degree, Mortuary Sciences, you've taken on an apprenticeship at Riverfields Mortuary, but what do you know? There's something weird going on. So if you like the functional doing your job aspect of Papers, Please, because you will have to be a mortician, mixed with the soiling your trousers out of fright aspect of Visage, then check out The Mortuary Assistant coming out on Steam and Itch on the 2nd of August. Half my price. Come on, wake up! Uh, wake up! Ah! That's broken. That's broken. Next up, we have South of the Circle, out 3rd of August. This came out on Apple Arcade in 2020, but it's now coming out to consoles, GOG and Steam. You play Peter, a rather foppish Hugh Grant-like climate scientist, fighting for survival in Antarctica after he's crash-landed there during the 1960s Cold War. During his battle against the cold, we also see flashes of his past as a lecturer at Cambridge University and his relationship with bubbly Scottish lecturer Clara. Make dialogue choices, unravel Peter's story all the way enjoying the beautiful pastel coloured graphics south of the circles out 3rd of august our only hope is for you to find a friendly out there if you don't do this we're both done for you hear me we are dead At the 10th of August, next up, it's Lost in Play. This charming-looking game is a puzzle point-and-click adventure that follows two siblings lost in their own imagination. Expect a mixture of the surreal and cartoon-like in this one. There's no voice acting or dialogue, which reminds me of some of the classic Amanita design games like Chuchel or Machinarium. We're also promised horned beasts, goblins and a derpy chicken. Fantastic! Lost in Play's out the 10th of August on Steam and Switch. <laughs> Justin works as an IT support technician. He doesn't really like his work and is still madly in love with his ex-girlfriend Julia. Today, following some microwave space-time tomfoolery, Justin is about to switch places with someone from the past. Next up, out 23rd of August, it's Justin Wack and the Big Time Hack. Full disclosure, I backed this one on Kickstarter many moons ago, as did Ron Gilbert apparently, but I'm very much looking forward to this time-travelling, character-swapping 2D point-and-click adventure game. Justin's accidentally found himself lost in the prehistoric era, as you do, whilst his caveman counterpart has warped forward to his time. Swap between both characters and a third a la Day of the Tentacle as you play, although hopefully no hamsters will be harmed in the playing of this one. Justin Wack and the Big Time Hack is out 23rd of August on Steam. And the Big Time Hack. A story about time travelling, love and scary looking robots. All right, well, we've got to take a short break here. Do you mind reading this out yes. uh, for us? Now, Marvelous Magic will turn the next 60 seconds into a commercial.
Finally, and it's a quick mention again for Sam Barlow's Immortality, which now has a release date of the 30th of August. If you liked her story and telling lies, you'll probably want to get your mitts on the latest FMV offering by Mr. Barlow, which will feature three whole films you have to trawl through to find out what happened to missing actress Marissa Marcel. Will this game ever come out? Find out in the next edition of this preview series and catch my other Let's Plays and interviews with game developers. Don't forget to like and subscribe too. Cheers! Give us a turn. It's not who you think it is. Are you funny? Is she okay? Now you can proposition me.